Welcome to the Buccaneers Observer. This is Ralph Phillips, and welcome to the start of the NFL 2022 season. Started today at 4 p.m. All teams had to be under the salary cap number. This was a little difficult for the Buccaneers as they started off about $21 million over the cap. But they were able to get down under the cap today just barely by about $3 million. Now, this was due to some restructuring and the fact that some of the signings, such as Shaq Mason, are not official yet. It has allowed the Buccaneers to become compliant. Now, the latest roster moves are as follows. The Bucs have restructured Shaq Barrett's contract to create some cap space for the team. They can converted $14.88 million of the 2022 salary into a signing bonus, adding another void year, clearing $11.9 million of cap space. Now, originally, Barrett had signed a four-year, $68.5 million deal with Tampa Bay last year, and uh, the 29-year-old was set to make $16 million this season, which would carry a cap hit of $19 million. So it was good to get him back. Get him restructured. And also, Cameron Brait, our wonderful tight end, has agreed to rework his contract at two years, $8 million per the source. Uh, both of those guys are doing that to allow the Buccaneers to free up some space and get under the cap room. Uh, the Bucs have re-signed wide receiver Brashard Perriman. He got a one-year deal, but the details of that contract have not yet been announced. Don't know if it's quite official yet, and I do not think so. Uh, with all of these uh, extensions and signings, uh, some of them are not official yet, so keep that in mind. It is why our cap has been able to get underneath it. Uh, there's going to be a lot of reworking done and a lot of uh, maneuvering coming up in the next week or so. Uh, we have a lot of free agents to, to try to get signed. Now, uh, we lost Jordan Whitehead to the Jets the other day, and uh, I think it was because we knew it was going to cost too much, but he, there was reports that he was not offered in an extension. And like I said, I think it's because we just knew he was going to cost too much than what we were willing to pay or could pay. So we're going to be uh, stuck right now with Winfield and Carl Edwards as our safeties. Uh, wide receiver Russell Gage, we had said yesterday that he had signed with the Buccaneers. He's a wide receiver from the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, there was reports out today that he was debating on where to sign, and he had a few choices, but he got a call from Tom Brady uh, one day after Brady had returned to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, Brady had told Gage that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers were building something special and that uh, Russell Gage had was a – uh, that Tom Brady was a fan of Russell Gage, and uh, he's been a fan of his game for a while and for him to come on and get on board. So that was interesting to find out that it was actually Tom Brady that recruited him. We're pretty sure Tom Brady was also the one that recruited uh, the guard, uh, Mason. So it's interesting that Tom Brady's coming back and he's on fire and he's getting some guys he wants to get. Uh, other news, the Bucks have been awarded a seventh-round compensatory pick based on the departure of tackle Joe Haig. If anybody remembers him, uh, the Buccaneers were awarded one compens compensatory pick near the very end of the 2022 NFL draft, so we'll get, be getting the 40th pick in the seventh round, which is number 261 overall. That's just one away from the very last selection, uh, as you can probably remember that's the Mr. Irrelevant, and we drafted Mr. Irrelevant last year, and that went to linebacker Grant Stewart, who has been a great guy on our special teams, and he's done well when he's filled in uh, as linebacker. Uh, Maple Street Elementary School principal Josh Egan asked his former college friend and roommate, who is an unnamed assistant video director for the Buccaneers, uh, asked him for a small favor for his students and ended up with a deal of a lifetime. Autographed footballs from Super Bowl champions Tom Brady and Rob Gronkowski. Uh, the school has decided to raffle both footballs off at $10 per entry, with all the proceeds going to the PTO and Student Activity Fund to benefit the students. Uh, the raffle for the autographed footballs is going to run until April 7th. 
The drawing for the two winners will happen April 8th. Now, as of today, or as of Monday, the school had already raised $4,500. Uh, the link to the raffle will be in the description, so go check that out. If you're interested, hey, put in. You never know. You might get the awesome football. Uh, and finally, to wrap up today's Bucks news, this is uh, Gay Stats. Our boy Carl Nassib, the first active gay NFL player, was unfortunately released by the Raiders. That marks the first active NFL gay player to be released from a team. So there you go. That wraps up today's Bucks news. And until tomorrow, go Bucks.